Hey everyone, it's Photon Marshmallow, and I just wanted to thank everyone, you know, before we get to the BGS grading submission, thank you for uh, coming to look at my channel. It's a new channel, and we'll be doing openings, you know, maybe at first just weekly of some pretty cool stuff. I like 5Ds a lot and GX, and of course Photon Shockwave, so we'll be opening up a lot of that. Um, and yeah, I'll try to do giveaways every video, and so for this BGS submission, uh, the giveaway is going to be this first edition Raging Battle Blister Pack, sealed. Pretty cool. I have a lot of these, so I'll be giving a lot of these away in the future. So to enter into the giveaway, all you have to do is like this video, subscribe, and tell me in the comments which card out of you know the hundred that we're submitting, um, you're most excited about um, seeing what grade it gets. So yeah, and um, you know since this is a new channel, I'll be reaching the um, <laughs> The winners on Instagram, uh, so just make sure you follow me on there. My Instagram will be linked below at Yu Gi Oh Eyes Photon Dragon. Um, so yeah, enjoy the video, and um, I will be doing grading submissions in the future. So if you're ever just interested in doing them, I'm located in the U.S. Um, and right now I've been doing them at seventeen dollars a card for sixty day uh, with subgrades. So yeah, just hit me up on Instagram. All right, so we've got um, our BGS submission, and we're just gonna go over all the cards that we're submitting. We're submitting a hundred cards, um, and we've got eleven cards from other people. So we're gonna start with those. Let me see this one, mine or theirs. Yeah, so this is theirs. Okay. So for their Dark Magician Girl. We've got a couple scratches there, it looks like. And it's not perfectly centered. Pretty decent. So from top to bottom, it's OC, and from right to left, it's OC. And then the back is mint, but just take a look at that. Okay, so it was one of the other people's cards. Here's card number two, beautiful chamber dragon maid. I don't have any other of these, so it's only one of these. Beautiful starlight. Next is a Gaia, the Magical Knight of Dragons. Beautiful starlight. It's pretty centered, maybe a little bit off from top to bottom, but really, really nice. But about the same as mine. And so the difference between his and mine is that his has that Millennium Eye right near the top, a little bit more centered. And if you can see the Yu-Gi-Oh! See if we can get it to show. Well, you can kind of see it there, but the top one, it's not as cut off as you'll see on mine. Yeah, there you can see it. So you can still see the G and the I, and the O. And we'll look at mine a little bit. All right, next we have another Starlight, Dogmatica Ecclesia. Beautiful, really nicely centered, maybe top to bottom. Super nice. And back, mint. And scratches around the uh, card saver. Beautiful. And then we've got this, what, Prismatic Rare? In the 2020 tins. Beautiful card. And it looks perfectly centered, so sure you get a nice centering grade. Back is mint. Corners are a little too cut right there, if you can see. So we'll see what that gets. 
three months from now. All right, then we've got a Master Monk. This one's pretty cool. Ultimate Rare from the last millennium. It was 2007, maybe. Beautiful centering. Well, a little, little OC from left to right. And then top to bottom. But beautiful surface. When I checked it out, it looked really nice. And then... Everything looks really nice. There's like a little tiny dent up there, if you can see it. But maybe, maybe it's a dent. I'm not sure. I didn't take the cards out of the sleeves to look at them. I just transferred them from top loader to card saver. Alright, and then that's for one person. This one um, is for Shin Shiny on Instagram. Matt. He's got a beautiful red eyes black dragon from Sir Jack Joey, first edition. It looks really clean. It looks, it's a little bit weirdly centered. You can see it's like a little bit uh, diagonal, a little bit slanted, like this, the image. So you can see that it gets, it's really thick up here, the centering, and it gets thinner as it goes down, versus it's thicker up here. I mean, uh, thinner up here, because it's thicker on the side, and it gets thicker to put down. Super nice card. There's another one of his cards, like here in the Manic Magnum Warrior from, I think it's called Stairway to the Destiny Duels. Beautiful card, awesomely centered. Really nice, crisp condition from what I can see. So I haven't touched him since we sent him over. Beautiful. Alright, we got a Gam of the Magnet Warrior. These all next cards are all for Shin Shiny Matt. Super nice crisp condition. Just you can look at that mintiness on the card, even through the card saver, right look at that. Nicely centered, really nice corners. And then the back. The edges are super nice. So this one also should do really well. Now we've got a beta. Beautiful card. Also nicely centered. You can look at the mintiness on it there. Look at it showing as I go up. Super nice card. Corners look good. A little OC on the back, but that shouldn't hurt it too bad. Beautiful card. And I'm not really sure about the surfaces on this one, on the back. And the last card for Matt. We got an Alpha the Magnet Warrior. Super minty. Super nice centering. Do it from Duelist of the Roses, that's what the last two Magnet Warriors were also from. A little bit of C on the back, but nothing too bad. Beautiful card. Yeah, let's hope all the newer cards and I'm guessing at least the Magnet Warriors will get 9.5s. So now, those are the commission grading cards. So now we're going to move on to mine. So we've got this Dark Magician Girl. This one's mine. So if you can see, this one is a little bit more centered from left to right and from top to bottom. But mine has a few more scratches, which... Uh, let's see if we can get it on camera. Here. There you go. Right along this edge here. We're just going to see how it does. You can see right there. Yep, so that one's mine. I can definitely tell. And then it has a print line near the bottom here. And so we're just going to send it in. Might get a 9. Because the centering is super nice. If you look at the corners, they're pretty round. 
so corners should do well and edges should do well. Um, surface might be the only thing that gets a 9 or lower. So, super nice card. Upside down. Alright, now here's my Gaia. Also super nice centering, beautiful card. Super nice corners. And then for mine, see my uh, Millennium Eye is not as centered. Let me go to the Yu-Gi-Oh, if you can see it. It's so hard to get the Yu-Gi-Oh. But you can see it kind of right there, near the top there. You see that the Yu-Gi-Oh is really cut off on mine. So that's how we'll be able to tell the difference. And then, very nice setting on the back. All right, now we've got, and the, all these uh, next cards are all mine. So, Stardust Dragon Collector's Rare. Um, Kind of nicely centered, if you can see on the right side it's a little bit shorter. Uh, up top it's about the same, but as we go down you can definitely see the difference. This side is smaller than this side. So centering is about the only thing that's wrong with it. Corners are super nice, edges are super nice, surface is super clean, so let's see what we get with that. Alright, now onto the ghost rares. So we got a shooting star dragon. And so the only thing wrong with this card, if you look at the centering, it's super nice, maybe a little see from top to bottom. See those print lines going all the way up and down? It doesn't really have any scratches. It just has those print lines going all the way up and down. So we're going to see how much that hurts the grade. If all the other surfaces are clean, you know, I'm hoping it'll get a 9. Super nice. More ghost rares, so these are my galaxy eyes. As you can see, they've got um, way more print lines going top to bottom. On this one, I think that's all that's wrong with it. The, oh yeah, a little bit OC from top to bottom too. Um, not many scratches, if any, considering I'm back. Surfaces are clean, considering I'm back is a little OC top to bottom. Alright, this is Galaxy Eyes number two. This one doesn't have as many print lines, but it's got a couple of them going from uh, left to right this time. Um, a couple top to bottom. And then it has that little piece of foil showing right up top there. Besides that, super nice card. Knit back, corners, edges, etc. So. We'll see how it, how it goes. And then Galaxy has number three. This one is one of the nicer ones also. It, uh, it's pretty nicely centered. I think better than the other ones. Um, surfaces, I don't, it has maybe a couple tiny scratches, but mostly print lines. And this one I got for like 60 bucks, which is a steal. So, super nice. Just a bunch of dog hairs here. Now we got a Black Rose Dragon, Ghost Rare Unlimited. So it's a little OC from top to bottom. You can see that there. Otherwise, uh, it's a mint foil. And uh, so yeah, pretty much perfect surfaces on the back too. No dings, the corners are a little, little weird. You can see that one sticks up a little bit, so. Might get off on that in the centering, but surfaces should be good. You know, maybe 9.5. Next we've got this black winged dragon. Um, look at that bleed on that, that guy. So what I mean by bleed is the ghost rares actually have a full image. Um, and then the rest of the card is just printed on top of it. But sometimes it bleeds through, like on this black winged dragon. So you can see on the edges here, you can see that edges of the image go all the way up and around. Let's see if we can, yeah, get it to show there. 
beautiful card. And let's see, for this one, uh, centering is okay. Top to bottom a little off. Like I said, the, the foil was super clean. There's maybe one small scratch on there. And then on the back, uh, so obviously OC here. And then there was one, one thing that was a little weird about this one, but I don't remember. If it was this one or the next one, but super good card. Here's a black wing number two. Also, like a really nice surface. Let's see if this one's got the bleed yet as well. Super nice bleed there. <laughs> On the edges. Centering on this one, OC top to bottom, left to right is good, maybe this one's the one that had something wrong. One of these has like a small dent on the back, the centering on this one on the back is much better. Um, so I guess we'll find out which one it is later, but one of these has a, has a small flaw besides being OC. Alright. Now we've got Power Tool Dragon, number one. So this one, uh, a lot of the Power Tools are actually OC from left to right. It's really hard to find a centered one. Uh, top to bottom also a little bit, so that'll hurt the grade. The foil, I'm pretty sure, is really clean on this one. And the surface, front surface is really clean. Back surface has a couple of, I don't know, scratches from being put in sleeves probably. Uh, but besides that, that's the only thing wrong with it. So, pretty nice card. Then here's Power Tool number two. Uh, this one has a mint surface as well. I think it's got one scratch right there. Um, a little bit less OC, but still off-centered. And then the problem with the back is that on the top left here, you can see that it's got uh, a couple edge, a little bit of edge wear right there. But we're gonna get it graded and see what happens. And OC, of course, so we'll see. All right, now we've got a Majestic Red Dragon. I've got two of these as well. This one maybe has like a small scratch on the foil, but otherwise pretty clean. We'll see from top to bottom. Otherwise, super nice. Let's see if we can see it on this one. Yeah, I don't see any. One of these also has an indent on the back. Something wrong with the back. It's not this one. Alright, just dragon number two. This one has a super clean foil. It's really nicely centered. Maybe a little OC top to bottom. Beautiful card. Beautiful. Does it have a bleed? No, no bleed on this one. So you can see that some ghost rares have a bleed, some don't. And then the back. It's hard to see, but I'm pretty sure this one had an indent around here. I guess we'll see when it comes back. But otherwise, corners are decent. It's got this one that's a little strange. Not totally straight. But all the rest of the corners and edges are perfect. So we'll see how this one does. All right, we got a blue eyes ghost ray. This one is super clean besides a couple of print lines that you can see there. Let's see, right there. A couple there, and then this one that goes straight across the top. I'm pretty sure those scratches aren't on the foil. This is a super clean one. It's pretty nicely centered. The corners are a little, little weird. You can see there. It's cut weird. Same here. And this corner is good. And the top left corner is just a little weird. So corners will hurt it. Surface will hurt it a little bit. Um, yeah, you can see it even better from here. Look at this corner. It's so weirdly cut. But besides that, the surfaces are clean. So. And that was last of the ghost rares. Alright. So now we got some McDonald's promos. I'm pretty sure, yeah, this one was the one 
that I pulled straight from uh, a pack that I bought from Yu-Gi-Oh! Haddock on Instagram. So it, it's like mint the corner. Here is a little off cut. Besides that, you know, this corner looks good. Top corners look good. Edges look good. It's a little bit OC from um, right to left. Maybe a tiny bit from top to bottom as well. But otherwise, surfaces are mint. There's no real edge wear here. So, should get a good grade. And this one I bought from someone on Facebook. Um, I think it has a chance to get a 9. Just because the back has a couple of scratches probably from putting them in and out of sleeves. Um, also not perfectly centered from right to left. But super nice card. And I love how these McDonald's cards have a little bit of a bleed. You can see foil and then you can still see the foil here. So yeah, that one maybe we'll get a 9. There's no real edge where the corners look good too, so we'll see. This is a Cosmo Queen that I pulled myself from McDonald's pack from Yu-Gi-Oh! Haddock as well. So in this one, I feel like we'll get a really good grade. It's pretty much perfectly centered. The corners are amazing. It's also got that nice bleed there. Yeah, there's like nothing wrong with this card. Maybe the corners are a little little weird on the back, but surfaces are mint. Pulled it myself, so that one should get a really good grade. I've got this Cosmo Queen, also bought from the same person on Facebook that I just mentioned. I got the Millennium Shield from. Super nice. A um, couple surface scratches again from not on the foil, but on the on the back. Um, being put in and out of sleeves. Centering is decent. Corners are good. No edge wear. So should get a pretty good grade as well. Maybe a 9. Alright, Takuminos. This one is the one I pulled myself. It's also pretty much perfect. Uh, centering is a little off. But I think that's the only thing I can that was wrong with it. So yeah, really nice card. This one I bought from the same person on Facebook. It's pretty mint as well. A uh, little OC. Corners are better than the other one I showed you. And then just a couple surface scratches. So, you know, maybe we'll get a 9 on this one as well. For lucky 9.5. Dark Piercing Light. Uh, these next two I pulled myself. And so, let's see. This one is like perfectly centered, super nice, again has that super nice blade all the way down, prep the card. One of these has a little ding on the left side even though they were pulled pack fresh, I think this one's the really good one. So we're hoping for a really good grade from that one. Here's number two, nicely centered, but it's got, yep, this little ding right here. And I think that's the only thing wrong with it. So, hoping for a good grade, even with that little ding. Maybe a 9. Alright, so we've got an ultra rare Galaxy Eyes Full Town Dragon. I pulled this myself. Uh, centering is really, really nice. Um, corners. I think there was something a little weird about this card. Yeah, I think this corner has. See right there? It's not bent or anything, but it's just like a, a weird indent. So, um, besides that, the surfaces are mint. Hold it myself. And... Yep. So yeah, all these next things, I'm trying to get a full um, set of Galaxy Eyes Ultimate Rares, and of course, um, all the Galaxy Eyes cards. So the Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon. So here's Blossar Serato. Ultimate Rare, this one was pulled fresh from packs that I bought from, um, why am I forgetting his name? He's on YouTube. Oh my gosh, why am I forgetting his name? At Yugi, Yugi Mo, Yugi Mo got, uh, pulled this for me, so 
Super fresh, first edition. Super nice card. I got this from someone off eBay. It's I got it for super cheap, probably like thirty dollars. I think they're selling for sixty. Uh, mint card, just beautiful. So, hoping for a good grade from that. The edge is a little weird, but super nice. Got from someone on Facebook. Uh, it's cool because it's a little misprinted. As you can see, it's not really much at all. But that was the first card, first ultimate rare that I had that was. Uh, not printed right. You can see the light here. It's a little misprinted. But yeah, um, this one is pretty mint. It's a little off center from top to bottom. But maybe that's just because it was uh, stamped wrong. Besides that, super nice mint. You know, that wears four out of nine. Here's one XYC gift. I got this one and the next one together for like five dollars, super cheap. Uh, they're both pretty nice. Each one has. One thing wrong with it, I can't really remember this one, like the corner, it's kind of weird. It's like cut off. Um, yep, so that's that one. This one, I can't remember what's wrong, oh yeah, it has a little bit of, a uh, couple dents there, you can see there. And besides that, it's, it's really nice, nothing was wrong with it. This one I pulled myself, Wotan Veil. Vale. It's a little off-centered from top to bottom. You can see there. Otherwise, mint card, super pretty. Again, this one came from the same set as the Galaxy Eyes Ultra Rare. Has a little bit of weird thing on the corner there. So we'll see how this does. This one, it's like a maybe five to ten dollar ultimate rare. Super nice. Super mint, nicely centered, so just hoping for a great grade from this one. Edges are a little weird. Right there you can see, just factory cut wrong. Alright, number 62 Galaxy has Prime Photon Dragon. Another super nice card, uh, a little off centered from top to bottom. Besides that, nothing else is wrong. No edge wear, surfaces aren't perfect, so. Alright, we're getting, we're building up a good stack here. We're not even halfway through. <laughs> we're at 26 minutes. Alright, Galaxy Eyes, Photon Dragon, Neo Galaxy Eyes. This one's also pretty perfect, so hoping for a good grade from that one. Alright, we got our Royal Slender, Surrender from the Lost Millennium. Uh, super nice surfaces, it's got one weird thing, uh, right, right here. Um, yeah, you can see it right there. And my finger, yeah. So that that's like something that's on the card or like a misprint or something. But I couldn't get it off. And then there's this print line right across the middle that you can see there. That's on the card. Uh, besides that, everything else is super nice. We've got gold. Ooh, Lord of Dark World, Ultimate Rare from Elemental Energy. Super nice centering, super nice surfaces, so hope for a good grade. Here's an overload fusion that my girlfriend pulled from some free packs that I actually got, so you know, should be mint, a little off centered. Corners look decent, and surfaces mint, so hope for a good grade. Vanity's Ruler that I got from, I can't remember this person's name on Facebook just because it took a while to get here, but super nice Vanity's Ruler. Hoping it'll get a good grade. There were like a couple of surface scratches on the back, but nothing horrible. So we'll see. Blazing Butterfly I also got from someone on Facebook. This one's just more of a test one. You can see the centering is like super nice. Right. But it's got... It was cut weird here, you can see the edge where the edge shows a little bit. And it's got like this foil dent here, you can see right there. So we're just going to see how this affects it. It's a super nice card otherwise. Centering is good, the edges are weird. Surfaces are mint besides that dent, so we'll see what happens. Got this beautiful Korean, not first edition, I didn't know there was first edition when I bought it, but um, uh, Korean 
Uriah. Beautiful, it's a mint card, like perfect centering, perfect corners, perfect surfaces, so um, maybe centering on the back is a little off. But should be really good grade. Here's an ancient sacred wyvern that I pulled myself. Centering is decent, surfaces are perfect. It's got like one print line, yeah, right there. Um, besides that, it's pretty nice, back fresh. Then we've got this beautiful yellow baboon, Archer of the Forest, from someone on Instagram. Centering's decent, surfaces are like mint, so I'm hoping for a good grade. It's got, this one's actually got an ulti imprint, you can see it right there, so we'll see how that affects it. I haven't graded cards that have an ulti imprint yet, so let's see how it affects it. But yeah, this one's from Stardust Overdrive, so I'm guessing these are going to get really expensive eventually. I think a PSA 10 sold for like $300 recently. This one is one that I pulled myself, Strongling Dragon from Raging Battle. I have a lot of the blisters, so I got bored and opened some. Um, this one is, you know, pack fresh. It's, I think this one is the one I have something wrong with it. Yeah. So you can see it's off-centered. And it's got maybe a small little dent right there, a little edge ray. Uh, and then the edges just look weird on this one a little bit. You can see right there on the left side. But besides that, it's super nice. The back is actually centered really nicely. No surface wear, just because it's back fresh. All right, here's the strong wind dragon that I actually pulled, um, where in the pack that I pulled two ultimate rares from. So this one is actually a lot nicer. The centering is a lot better. Top to bottom, it's a little off. Um, still super pretty. No edge wear. Centering on the back is a little off. No surface, so. This one should get a good grade, hopefully. And then the second ultimate rare that I got with it. So this one's Quacky Mary with Drago. This one's a little off-centered. Says that, that's the only thing wrong with it. There's a, there's a print line right there. So we'll see how that affects it. And yeah, super nice. Then we're just gonna grade this Power Tool Dragon ultimate rare. Um, it's not amazingly nice, but it's still, still cool. I haven't seen a graded one for sale on eBay in the time that I've been looking for them, so. Um, surfaces, it's got a couple of scratches from probably being put in sleeves. The corner's a little weird, you can see a little whitening up there. So I'm not hoping for a super good grade, but it's still pretty cool. One of my favorite cards in sets. Alright, then we've got this Chaos Emperor Dragon Ultimate Rare. Beautiful, mint, mint card. Like, centering's perfect, corners are perfect. The only thing wrong is, maybe we can see it, maybe we can't see it here, but it's got like two little spots where the foil shows, so I'm not sure how, like tiny tiny spots, they're barely visible, so I'm not sure how much that'll affect it. We're just going to test it out. What Chimera from Duelist Revolution, these, you know, that set's kind of expensive. I thought I'd grade this card, I got it for maybe $6. Pretty mint, it's a little off center and corners are weird, but we'll see what we get. Alright, now Star Trek Blast is another one that I'm trying to complete the set of. Um, I want to grade all the ultimate rares. So here's one power giant. I got this from a guy on eBay for, you know, like, he said that this was light play and it's mint, literally mint. A little off center from top to bottom. Left to right, it's good. Surfaces are perfect. Back as well. So, for light play condition, that's and light, light play price, that's really good. Here's another one, also bought from the same guy. This one is a lot more centered, so looking for a better grade. Perfect surfaces, no ulti stamp, so. Alright, Supreme Arcanite Magician. This one's actually really cool. I've, I'd never seen this card before until I found it on eBay. Uh, this one's nicely centered, mints, I mean, surfaces are pretty mint. Uh, maybe a couple scratches, but super nice card. Here's Arcanet Magician number two. Super nice card. Then we've got Akaya Drake. 
This one is actually a really cool card that I want to buy more of. And these cards are just going to get more and more expensive because the packs are like $30. If not more right now. But they're selling for on eBay, so... I'm going to try and get a lot more of these. Beautiful card. Alright, now we got some Shooting Star Dragon Ultimate Rares. These got a little expensive. I think we got each of these for like 100 to 140 each. This one is has like mint surfaces, it's a little off-centered from left to right, but not as horrible as a lot, of the, a lot of the ones that I've seen. Beautiful card, and then the the back centering is good. No ulti stamp. Surfaces are clean, so hoping for a good grade from number one. Then we've got number two. This one's a lot more centered. So I'm hoping for a good grade on this one. Alright, we've got Red Nova Dragon. Beautiful card. This one has something... I think it's a piece of paper that got like printed on there. I, I was trying to see if there was like an angle of it. It looked kind of like a booger or something <laughs> when I got it. But no, it seems like a piece of paper. Or maybe a dent in the foil, you know? It's like red colored. But besides that, perfect card. A little off-centered, but... Super nice, so we'll see what we get on that one. Here's another one that we're reading. A little off centered as well, but not horrible. And this one doesn't have a booger. And then surfaces, corners, edges are super nice, so. And then here's the last one for Star Trek Blast Tuning. This one's pretty expensive. I, I don't play Yu Gi Oh! So it must be one that's still played. Because I see it on auction for a lot on Facebook. This one's really nicely centered. I got it for a light play price from that same guy on eBay. And it's like mint. So really excited for this one. Alright, so here is Herald of Perfection. I love this card. I didn't know it <laughs> uh, until I, I saw it for like maybe $20 below TCG low on eBay. So I jumped on it. And it's yeah, like it's like mint, so I'm really looking forward to creating it. Alright, here's another one, Chaos King Archfiend. I got it for like five bucks from that same guy on eBay that sells them for like play prices, so a little a little off-centered. From left to right. Oh, it has a beautiful card. It's still cheaper, you know, maybe like $15 max for an Earmint one. From the Shining Darkness, but they're all gonna get more expensive. But by the time these cards come back, you know, especially the 5Ds one. 5Ds ones in three months, they'll be like double the price. <laughs> Friendly Doom Dragon, beautiful card. Again, from the same guy on eBay, paid light play price, maybe 20 bucks, and it's like mint. Beautiful. Alright, here's one from Absolute Power Force, from the same guy on eBay for light play price. Mint card, perfectly centered. The back looks super nice. Uh, it has a little bit of an ulti stamp, if you can see it right there. Yeah, right there. Uh, not much of one on the top. It's just at the bottom there. Super nice. One dragon quilla. Now I need some dragon. For the sets, we're just getting a huge stack there. <laughs> Alright, we're. I think we're more than halfway done. So we got number C32, Shark Drake Vice. Um, yeah, nothing much to say about this one besides it's a little OC from top to bottom on the back as well. And then the edges are cut a little weird, so we'll just see what this gets. I got it for like $5. So we'll see. Alright, Star Eater Ultimate Rare. This one's pretty cool. A lot of the ones that I've seen are always OC from left to right like this one. More often than top to bottom. I've been trying to find a centered one, but I couldn't, so I'm just gonna grade this one, see how it does. It doesn't have an ulti stamp, and yeah, mint surfaces otherwise. You got it for like 20 bucks. Alright, Power Tool Dragon, Secret Rare. So I've opened, yeah, this one was from a tin that I opened. 
Uh, and out of three tins that I opened, this was the only one that was uh, gradable because it didn't have any edgeware really on the corners. Should <laughs> let her look at it. There it might be a little bit there. I'll check it out again later. But there's uh, yeah, all the other ones came out looking a lot worse, and this one is decent with decent centering. And obviously, since it came out of the tin, mint surfaces. Alright, now we got a Shooting Star Dragon. This one I got fresh from, uh, what's it called? One of the, so from the promotional tins, these cards came in like a little pack. Um, kind of like, you know, kind of like these larks. Came in a pack like this. The other promo cards. So this one, you know, I, I pulled straight from that. But it does have a couple of super scratches. Let's see if we can get them to show. Yeah, right. right. Mm, somewhere along here, they go up and down. Right there. A couple of server scratches on the foil. Otherwise, centering is really good, corners are good, back surfaces are good, so. Should be a cool card to grade. This one as well, I got fresh from a promo pack from the tin. I um, also had a couple of foil scratches fresh from, you know, being sealed, but should be okay. Other than that, it's pretty perfect. Here's another one I got straight from a pack. Beautiful Leviathan Dragon. Nicely centered, corners a little weird. Surfaces are good besides one. I think there was one foil scratch here. Yeah, going along the edge right here. So I can get it to show. Tiny bit right there. Alright, here's another tin promo. Yeah, so I have an organized kind of ultimate rare, tin promo secret rares, regular secret rares, ultra rare, super rares, and then some random cards. Series of Dark Rebellion, XYZ Dragon. I really like this one. Just like the rarity of how it's kind of like a, a starlight, but not really a starlight. It's like $4 or something. So. Super nice. Here's an Imperial Order from that same guy on eBay that sells them for light play prices. It's a pretty mint card. A little off-centered, but that's really the only thing wrong with it, I think. The corner's a little weird. The edges are perfect, surfaces are really nice. Alright, so here's a secret air from Crimson Crisis that I pulled myself. It has a super nice bleed here, you can see. Pretty cool card. It's just off centered. I think that's the only thing wrong with it. Corners are perfect, edges are perfect. So let's we'll see how this one does. Hardened Arm Dragon. This one's just really OC from Raging Battle. Um, beautiful bleed on all these Raging Battle Secret Rares that I pulled. I pulled this one myself, so it's pretty mint besides maybe this little corner up there and then being OC. Alright, Light End Dragon number one. This one's OC. Beautiful bleed here. Yeah, there you go. You can see it there. Beautiful card. Pulled myself. So it's just really OC. The corners look a little bit weird on this one. That's it. Here's Light End number two that I also pulled myself from those blisters I have. OC as well, but a beautiful bleed. Another Raging Battle Secret Fair. Tree of Chaos with awesome bleed. And by bleed, I mean that you can see it, you know, the secret air foiling across the whole card. You can see as I move it downwards. Beautiful. Uh, this one is uh, decently centered. Um, top to bottom and a little bit left to right OC, but pretty good. Pulled myself, so surfaces are pretty mint. 
All right, we're getting to the end. Here is a cool change of heart. We're onto the ultra rares. Change of heart that I got off Mercari. I think I got it for like 70 bucks and it's really mint. <laughs> so it has maybe one print line on the back. But besides that, it looks super nice. So I'm hoping for at least a nine on this guy. And as you can see, I don't collect a lot of older cards. Um, I don't know why, I like 5Ds and GX a lot better. Here's one I pulled myself from Raging Battle, an ultra rare. Only thing wrong with this guy is centering maybe the corners. Ultra rare pulled myself from Raging Battle. Pretty cool. OC from top to bottom. Ultra rare version of Supreme Arcanite Magician. This one is like mint. Sets a little bit on the right there. Top on the left corner. Here's a shooting star dragon that I got from Yugi Mo. Now I remember his name. Uh, it's a little bit OC, but I'm pretty sure he said he pulled it fresh himself because the surfaces are pretty nice. So we'll just see what that gets. All right, here's from the guy on eBay with light play prices. We got it for twenty to thirty dollars. But beautiful, beautiful card. A little bit OC from left to right, but that I think is the only thing wrong with this card. So maybe a couple of scratches on the back. I can't remember on this one. Then we've got this guy, like Legendary Dragon of White, that I got from a guy on Instagram. I'm trying to remember his name. It starts with Yugi. A lot of them start with Yugi. A beautiful card from a set I didn't know existed. It's called World Superstars, <laughs> which is a horrible set besides like this card and the Dark Magician that are in there. So those are the only <laughs> really two chase cards. That's why this is like maybe $80 on eBay, but the guy on Instagram gave it to me for, I think it was 60. So super nice card. Like mint, maybe a little OC. I think it was top to bottom, but super nice. All right, we're getting close. Victory Dragon. Here is a, it's a jump promo. Yeah, besides that, super nice card, squinty. Little OC, tiny bit OC from left to right. I don't think there's any graded on BGS right now that I checked. Here's a Portuguese Celtic Guardian that looks super nice that I got for free from a seller on Instagram. I'll I'll have to I have, I can't remember who it was. Yamato Card Factory, I think it was. I got a Celtic Guardian uh, BGS graded nine, and he threw this one in for free, so. Pretty cool. Just thought I'd throw that in for grading. All right, and then some more Dark Magician Girls. Here's a um, Japanese version. Super nice. Here's a second one. Nothing wrong with these cards that I remembered. There's another one, beautiful, like, I, I, I don't know if the secret rares in Japan look like this, but it's super pretty. The uncensored version. <laughs> Magician's Valkyria, beautiful card. Here is the OCG, the Japanese version of the new Lart that we got. This one's super nice. So we're, we were planning on greeting that way before um, I knew we were going to get a version of it. And then finally, this one from, you know, I think it's 2020 or 2019. Dark Magician Girl, Secret Air, Dark Side of Dimensions movie. So we're just going to see what this guy gets. 
I pulled it myself, so it's pretty mint. Maybe a little off-centered. But yeah, that's all 100 cards that we're going to be sending. So wish us luck, and three months from now, I'll I'll make a video showing what we got, all the grades that we got, so we can see if we were expecting them or not. So yeah, thanks for watching.